Hello everyone, welcome back. And for those of you who are here for the first time, thanks for joining me. Today we're gonna to talk about how to select a breaker for your electrical panel. You know, what to look for. As a homeowner, you may be looking at potentially swapping out a breaker or adding a new one, and you wanna do the work yourself, which if you're careful is, is fine. But you know, how do you start? How do you decide which breaker to choose? So I'm gonna go through all of that with you today. And we're gonna start right now with the, uh, the fact that you have to identify which manufacturer has made your electrical panel because you have to pair the, the brands together of the breaker to the brand that made your panel. So for example, uh, and this panel here is made by a company called Square D. And you have three other major manufacturers that you're likely will encounter. So it'll either be Square D, General Electric, Siemens, or Eaton. And um, so, like I said, you have to pair your breaker with the panel manufacturer. The other thing you'll need to do is make sure that you're selecting the correct amperage for your breaker. And let me, let me explain a little bit about that. So, the, uh, the breaker will be the gatekeeper for how much power goes through the electrical lines into your outlets or your lights or wherever it is that the, the electrical wire is going to. And it will trip if you're attempting to draw too much power or more power than what that breaker can handle. Okay, So in newer homes, when things were wired properly as opposed to an older home where they railroaded everything onto one breaker, you'll likely have your lights on a 15 amp breaker with 14 gauge wire, which is thinner wire because we have all LED lights now, and your outlets will likely be on a 20 amp breaker because you're plugging things in that might draw more power. Hopefully that makes sense to you. So let's take a look at my panel here and I have a few other comments to make. So here we go, we've got this Square D panel that some of you have seen before if you've been following my videos. And we've got 15 amp breakers, 20s. We've got the uh, 30 amp breaker for the generator with the interlock switch. We've got the AC with a 50 amp and a bunch of 15s here. And also a 40 that's going to a sub panel in the basement, which I'm gonna show you in a moment. Now, one of the, uh, one of the things you'll notice is that there have a lot of 15s here. Now, normally I would potentially have those on a 20, but uh, this house has aluminum wiring, and to make sure that I don't have any issues with the, the wire, I'm safeguarding the, uh, the line and the outlets and also the, uh, the caps, the nuts, the wire nuts, by having just 15 amp breakers, and I, I just know I'm not going to be plugging in items that are going to draw too much power, and if I do, this will trip, so that way... Um, I don't run into an issue you know, at the outlet or at the light fixture. Now, uh, the other thing that I want to share with you is you notice that I have a lot of room in this panel, okay? And um, one of the things is, is that a lot of people have been running out of room in their electrical panels. I have plenty, but they might be filled and now need to you know, add another, another breaker but there's no room. So I'm going to show you what solution you might have for that. Okay, so right here we have a standard sized breaker. And this one happens to be Eaton, okay? And they make these minis that take up half the space. So these are, for example, 220s. And you can see that they are together, they're the same size. So if you needed to add a, a breaker, you could potentially take out this 20 and then put two minis side by side that are 20 each and you would wire them here okay and then you can control them independently so that's a way if you have running out of room in your panel you can use these uh these smaller ones these slim breakers to take up the space that one normal breaker will take up and i'm going to show you that down below when I take you to the basement and we look at the sub panel downstairs. All right, this is a General Electric sub panel. It's a couple of decades old. And um, 
you can see here where I used a couple of these slim ones to fit in uh, an extra breaker. What we were doing here was we were running a separate dedicated line to each bathroom and we wanted to, uh, we needed more room. This is, this is all we had here as far as space on this small sub panel. You're also going to notice that another selection that you could potentially make is these GFCI outlets, all right? And uh, so rather than have GF, uh, GFCI breakers, excuse me, so rather than have GFCI outlets someplace, you can protect everything that's downstream of this breaker with the, by using a GFCI breaker. So this will trip here and you can reset it. Now these happen to be um, lines that are going outside where we don't have the ability, like the ones going to the shed and places like that. So to protect in case groundwater gets involved and this will trip here um, and then it can be reset. So you have the ability to also use one of those GFCI breakers for the line that would go to your bathroom or to maybe your kitchen outlets that are above your counters or your microwave. Um, you can use one of those breakers instead of installing GFCI uh, outlets or in your, in your home. And if you do install one of those, I know I've mentioned this on other videos, you would want that GFCI outlet to be the first thing that the wire gets to when you're leaving your panel because that GFCI outlet will, when tripped, will protect everything else downstream of that. I know some people have put it at the end, but you're then not, you're not protected uh, upstream of that outlet then at that point. So if you have any questions about how to select a breaker for your panel, uh, just general questions, just leave them down below in the comments. Hopefully, this video has helped you a little bit and provided some insight. If so, please hit that like button for me. Thanks again for watching everyone and I hope you have a great day.